What's going on world? This is Sequel Seku and I have my sidekick with me today. We are going to show you how to dynamically hide and show labels in your visuals using Power BI and Tableau. So let's go ahead and hop into it. You ready, Kinsley? All right, let's get into it. All right, so to do this in Tableau, what we need to do is create a parameter. And we're gonna use that parameter in our calculated field. So in this example, I created a parameter called labels. And we see that we have two values. One is show, no show. So actually, let me get this back to show. So now we see that we have show um, on here. We're going to use that in a calculated field. So what we're going to do is we have a visual, we have our month, and we have our sum of sales. But now we're going to create a calculated field that shows the actual information that we need. So if I come in here and look at my actual calculated field, we have show high labels. And the calculated field is we have if the labels equal show and then give me sum of sales if the labels equals no show then give me a no value and so really a straightforward calculation and then now we're going to put that on our label card and so now when we select show we see it when we hit no show we see the information is not there so that's how you do that with a sheet if we wanted to incorporate this in a dashboard I have a fantastic dashboard, which is very complex. Not really, really simplistic dashboard, just two worksheets that I put together. Um, but we see we implement that calculated field onto each worksheet. Now, when I select my parameter, we see that we have show. But if I select no show, we see that the visuals go away. So you would just want to implement that in every single worksheet. Um, and that's how you have the labels of show, no show, and Tableau. So now let me show you how to do this in Power BI. All right, so now in Power BI, I have the visuals that I want, but in order to get that parameter fill that I'm used to in Tableau, I needed to create a disconnected table. And what a disconnected table is in Power BI is a table that has been created that is not connected to your data model. So if we look at our disconnected table, we have the same thing. We have our labels that show show and it shows no show. So we have the information in here and we're going to use that in a calculated field. So in this example, we have our visual set up, we have our line chart, and then we have our total sales. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create some DAX and we're going to use a conditional formatting statement in order to get that same uh, show, no show interaction that we're used to. So in this example, we created a conditional formatting statement. Basically, I am using selected value uh, to based on the user selection. Uh, and then now I have a switch statement. And what this is doing is basically saying if my selection equals no show, give me this value. So in Power BI, you can use actual hex codes and hex values. So this one is actually transparent. Uh, FFFF is just white. You add two zeros at the end of it. That makes it transparent. And then else, I want this to be just a black value. So I'm using this in my calculated field and I'm going to add this in my conditional formatting. So if we go to this visual. If we go into our format visual, go to data labels, scroll down, and select values, we see we have this conditional formatting in here. So we come in here and select conditional formatting. We see now we have our field value. So if I come in here and I select that conditional formatting field, it will now look up the values that I want, select okay. And we now see it on here. And now it's controlling conditional formatting. Uh, easy way to do this if you want to Take that format to another visual, come in here, select format painter, select your visual. Now your conditional format is there. So now if we come in here, we see show, but then we select no show. We see that now it is not showing as well because we're using that transparent value for our conditional formatting. So this is how you can do this in Power BI. There's probably some techniques you can use using bookmarks and some other stuff, but the conditional formatting was a really quick one that I used and put together. So if there are any other ways you can do this in Power BI or a Tableau, let me know, hit me up in the comments. If you haven't subscribed, uh, definitely hit me up, subscribe, reach out to me, SQL Seiku. Thanks for joining. Um, and y'all have a great day. Hope everybody has a great week and keep grinding, keep going hard.